Hello. Uh, so I wanted to share a really quick video with you about how you can transform your rain boots or your kids' rain boots into winter boots. Uh, reason that I had interest in doing that is that I love when kids can wear flexible soles. Um, even better is when they can run around barefoot, but when there's a bunch of snow and ice, that's not the best idea. Uh, so a rubber boot, they have the flexibility, but not necessarily the warmth. So how can we try to benefit for as long as possible from flexible soles since most winter boots are kind of like strapping a brick onto your kid's foot. Um, it makes them run and walk differently. It can make it more risky for them to climb because they can't actually get the grip and use their foot muscles the same way. Well, the way that you can make a rain boot for the summer a good thing for the winter time is one, wear some good socks, um, have some good quality boots. And so some leads on that, these boots, uh, my kids' boots are purchased from Mountain Warehouse. And I'm sorry for the dark background, which doesn't really help. I've had to tuck myself away in the corner of the house to be able to film this today. Um, but Mountain Warehouse boots, I love these things. They're great quality, great price. The flexible sole I was mentioning. So quality boots for sure and for a reasonable price. Um, good quality socks. I really love finding things that are merino wool. You get all the benefits of the warmth and the fact that they don't hold on to water. It wicks the water away so you won't get cold feet from having had sweaty feet. Um, so really helpful that way. And the merino wool tends to be softer, I find all the benefits of wool without that horrible itchy scratchy feeling and then we take those quality boots those quality rain boots and we take those really nice warm socks that we found and we add in one more thing and that is a thermal insole of some kind there's so many different versions of these available on the internet in stores if there's something like a canadian tire a Mar uh, mark's work warehouse um, any place that sells things for uh, workplace uh, materials and uh, uniforms, things like that, for people who work outdoors, then this is a really easy product to find. Full price range, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get something that's really good and gonna do the job. So these ones that I purchased have a felt side here and it looks kind of foil-like. It still feels nice and soft and fluffy, um, but the idea is that you stand on the felt side, it keeps your feet nice and warm and keeps the cold from coming up from the bottom to get you. So uh, when you find these things, if you're doing this for your kids' boots, then I haven't really had an easy time of finding children's ones. Uh, so these are size nine men's and they're super easy to cut. So I would highly recommend if you find felt ones, then don't worry about what size they are. <laughs> Pay the best price, get the best quality for price that you're happy with, and then just use your scissors. You're going to want utility scissors instead of your stationary scissors, just because they do take a little bit of extra sharpness and oomph to ca uh, cut through. It's not your basic craft felt, it is something thicker. And if you go using your normal everyday scissors, they can dull quickly, whereas your uh, utility scissors are either up for the job or they can handle being sharpened better and then you just keep going on your merry way. But like I said, these are size nines and I'll show you what I did for my eldest boots. So this one is completed already. So I trimmed it down. You can see it is not the same size. And how do I make sure that I get the insole the right size for the boot? I'll show you the trick for doing that. I will put that back in later. So I've done my eldest boots already, but I still need to do my youngest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the size nine liner, which is not the right size for this boot. This does not work. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the arch. So don't line it up on the heel. If you line that's... Yeah, that's the right boot. Um, so if you line it up on the heel, it's going to get too narrow in places where you need it to be wide. Anytime that you need to adjust something for a footprint, you line up the arch. And now you can see, oh, that's actually pretty clear. What I need to trim off of the top, what I need to trim off the, the bottom, and what I need to trim off the outer side. The inside is going to be the same in this place where it matches up. And then everything else gets trimmed off going around. And uh, as you are holding the boot and moving your scissors around, you just follow the outer edge of the boot. And the cool thing is by doing that, you can see the boot comes out to the edge and it's much better to err on the side of having been just a little too much and uh, be able to trim it down, then make it too small and then have to start over. Mom needs just one more moment. I'll be out in a second, boo. 
So uh, just with that in mind, it's really easy to do. It's really easy to just follow the edge of the boob, test it out by sliding it in, trim it a little bit more if you need to, but more often than not, when you trim the outside, because it's that soft felt, it'll fit in wonderfully. So even though it looks a little tiny bit big, you just settle it in, it scooshes in, and now you have this fabulous sole on the inside, keeping your little one's feet warm. Maybe you're doing this for your boots. Um, it's just a nice little trick to have up your sleeve if you want to keep the rain boots going, have the little bit of extra warmth, and you don't need your big boots for getting through uh, some super cold. Um, if you're getting into some super cold temperatures, this may not do the job, um, but in, in normal cold, I guess, in light cold, this does the job, and you're going to have happy kids able to run, climb, use their foot muscles just fine, and while staying toasty. So I just thought I would share that. I hope that's helpful for you. Uh, please, if you like the video, found it helpful in any way, remember to like, share, subscribe, and wherever you are, I hope that you are well. Wishing you all the best.